This video will explain how reed switches work and how they are used on the bale bandit. Reed switches detect the presence of magnets and are used on the bale bandit to accurately detect the location of some important moving components. The reed switches used on the bale bandit have threaded aluminum housing for mounting and protection. The inside of the housing is filled with black epoxy. In the epoxy is a sealed glass tube with two overlapping pieces of metal in it. The ends of these pieces of metal are separated by a tiny gap. When a sufficiently strong magnetic field is present, the gap closes and completes the electrical circuit. This tells the Bale Bandit's onboard computer that a magnet is near the reed switch. The bandbox, where the strapping is crimped, contains six reed switches. First, there are two fetcher-in reed switches, which detect when the fetchers are fully retracted and the fetcher swing cylinders are fully extended, as shown here. Then there are two fetcher-out reed switches, which detect when the fetchers are fully extended and the fetcher swing cylinders are fully extended to grab the strapping from the strap guide arm fingers, as shown here. Finally, there are two full band reed switches which detect when the banders are in position to crimp the strapping. Notice how the red input lights on the band relay board turn on when the magnet is close to the reed switch. All these reed switches should be adjusted to have a 1 8 inch air gap between them and their magnets. Another reed switch is used to detect the position of the kicker. Here the kicker is being rotated to show that the reed switch turns on whenever one of the two magnets is close to it. There should be a 1 8 inch air gap between this reed switch and the two rotating magnets. The position of the horizontal plunger is also detected by a reed switch. Two brackets hold stacks of flat magnets that trigger the reed switch when the horizontal plunger is fully extended and fully retracted, as demonstrated in this video clip. This reed switch should line up with the back edge of the stack of magnets located toward the front of the machine. There should be a 3 8 inch air gap between the end of the reed switch and the flat surface of the closest magnet. Reed switches can become damaged if dropped on hard surfaces or if their aluminum housing is over tightened. A damaged or misaligned reed switch will provide incorrect information to the Bale Bandit's computer and cause errors during the bundling process. Refer to the operator's manual for more information.